Growing up as a kid, I was always interested in building things. To be honest, I never thought I would end up where I am today. Very proud of it. I wanted to become a civil engineer from as far back as I could remember, pretty much. When I was a kid, I just, you know, I had uh, my little Tonka toy and I used to just drive around all of it. I just love heavy equipment. So uh, I'm third generation operating engineer. My grandfather did it, my dad did it. I used to sit in the back of the excavator while my dad ran the machine. My grandfather used to come down here and I used to drive around with them and they used to say, oh, I worked on this building and I worked on this building, so I, I can't wait to do that. It's a tunnel going to, into Manhattan. I mean, it's as iconic as the George Washington Bridge. It's a dream come true, for sure. So to be a part of that, yes, it's more than an honor to represent my city of New York. I'm excited for the TBM, the tunnel boring machine. It's going to be my first, my first tunnel project. It's going to be around for a long time. And my kids are going to know about it. You know, I'll walk in, I'm like, Dad built this, Dad was here, Dad did that. And... I have a daughter who's seven and a son who's three. They always, when we go over jobs that I've been on, they always say, oh, did you work here? And you get to say, yeah, I worked here. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's stuff that we live for. You know, we, we do all this for our family. I used to hang out down here. We used to ride our dirt bikes right where we're standing. Um, you know, right where the tunnel's going to start going through. The last time a major tunnel like this was built for railroads, 1908, which is the original North River Tunnel. So this is something that you only see once in your lifetime. I'd say this project hits very close to home. Um, I am from New Jersey, um, and I have been a victim of getting stuck in the tunnel since I was 17. It's been very meaningful to be a part of solving an issue that's going to be there for generations. It, a tunnel, it's not just a piece of infrastructure, and it's going to be a lifeline for people, generation, the future to use. It's not always easy, but it's great. Like, I saw, as long as you work with great people, and I've been lucky enough to work with, like, great, respectful people. Some of the guys I've known for, you know, over 20 years, and I watched them grow into supers and foremans, and, they watched me grow into an operator, and they're like my family. The tunnel wouldn't get built without all the men and women that are helping put this, put this job together. You know, these guys, uh, we owe them a lot of credit. They're, they're out here in the cold, in the rain, in the heat, you know, in the snow. We don't stop. These guys don't stop. These women don't stop. For now, it feels like, oh, this project is going to take a decade to build. But then when you think about it, the impact that it's going to create for a century after, I think that's the most exciting part of it. End of the day, the same people building a tunnel are going to be the same people sometimes even using the tunnel. Everyone, everyone's working on it, everyone's doing this, and this is something that's funded by the people and it's going to be used by the people. When you come to the city and you go into the subway and everything else, like men built that and people don't really understand what it took to build these things and you know I just I hope they appreciate you know how hard we work to, to make this happen.